Hey folks, I'm in uh, Sanford, North Carolina, staying at my buddy's place, and uh, and now he's getting ready to. He's a, a ham operator, ham radio operator, and uh, he's getting ready to put his antenna back up. But I just wanted to show you the whole thing. So there it is. Right there. He's still getting it prepped for tomorrow's lift. He's going to use one of these two cars, hook it up to the bumper, and pull it up. Anyhow, we'll do an interview next. All right, again. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm routing a antenna coax cables as tight as possible to the antenna booms and to the mast, so there's as li least amount of drag, wind drag as possible. Even though we don't get hurricanes here, um, it's possible in the winter to get 50 mile an hour winds. And any drag on the antenna is a, a possibility of, uh, of putting damage onto the antenna, the mast, or the tower itself. So I'm trying to organize everything as straight as possible and route it accordingly. And I've marked the, each coax with different color tape to um, so I'm able to identify it when I get down to the remote antenna switching box, uh, which one goes where. So that's the remote antenna switching box there for all the antenna cables. So with this, the heaviest mast, which is the rotatable uh, beam dipole. That's the heaviest ma uh, antenna, so I keep it as low as possible to the antenna mast. This is the next heaviest. This is an MA5B multiple band uh, ham radio antenna for HF frequencies. This is a two meter or 144 megahertz Yagi antenna, which is very directional and gives you a lot of power in one direction. So it should allow me to hit uh, ham radio repeaters quite a distance away. The one behind me is a 70 centimeter band antenna or 440 megahertz. And it's similar to this two meter Yagi, except it's two of them stacked together. So it doubles the amount of power that's going out in one direction. Again, same thing, it's made mainly for repeaters. Um, up on the end, in the middle, the very long one with the two little spurs off it. That's a 10 meter antenna or 28 or yeah, uh, 28 megahertz. On the end of closest to me is uh, a two meter, 70 centimeter, and also a six meter um, tri-band antenna. And that's vertical. They're all made for hitting repeaters. Six, uh, six meters is 50 to 54 megahertz. On the other side is a GMRS antenna, which operates at 462 megahertz to 467 megahertz. And there's no GMRS repeaters in this area. So I'm gonna put up a GMRS repeater and it should give me about a 25 mile range around the city of Sanford for GMRS. But just a long process getting everything wired accordingly. So the whole top mast rotates? Yes, the rotator is right here. Uh huh. And it's wired up. Here, I can hook it up real quick if you want to see. I'm not going to spin it a long ways, but we can definitely spin it. This is the control box. There's a lock, so I'm unlocking it and then I can spin it. And I can spin it the other direction. Huh. And Pretty cool. So when it's upright, it'll spin 360 degrees, 180 in each direction. And these Yaggies, because they're very directional antennas, 
as long as you know the direction to the repeater or the person that you want to talk to on the other end, you can swing the, the boom mast around to the direction you want to talk and now you're directing almost all the energy in one direction. So it makes it a more efficient way of communicating with people. And so we're going to... Tomorrow this thing is going up in the air. Yeah, so tomorrow he's going to hook something to this thing and pull right there the cable on the front. And uh, he's going to get hit one of his cars and just pull it up. He's done it before. And you just pull it up and then you uh, put two bolts in right there and you're done. Well, probably five bolts, right? Yeah, there's, there's uh, uh, four bolts. Right now there's two bolts in the hinge portion. Right. And I'll be putting four more bolts in. Right. Two, uh, one on each of these and then two on that. So this, this concrete base is four foot by four foot by eight foot deep. It's 20,000 pounds of concrete. Wow. Um, the mat, the tower itself is about 1500 pounds before you put any of the antennas on it or the mast or the rotator. Um, with all of that other stuff on it, it's about 1600 pounds of total weight. And that's the motor that, uh, brings the masts up that are on the inside. There's, yeah, there's four three telescoping sections to the tower. So when it's fully extended, it's going to be 70 feet tall with a 20 foot uh, rotatable boom on the top. And then I've got the 17 foot long 10 meter on the top of that, which is going to put everything at over 100 feet tall when it's fully extended. And it's rated to uh, 65 mile an hour winds with a wind loading of 15 square feet of antennas. And I've only got nine square feet of antennas on here. so. Um, it's not going to go anywhere. And we will bring you back when we are ready to put this thing up. I'm just wondering if this is going to give us enough length. I think once we overcome the beginning of the lift, I should be able to pull it forward. Okay. My battery don't let up. Got jumper cables, that battery is a hundred amp per hour. I got the
Thank you. 